Welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video on loop diuretics. Diuretics are medications that we commonly see in the clinical setting and loop diuretics in general are many times used in the hospital setting. Other types of diuretics are thiazide diuretics as well as potassium sparing diuretics and I'll have those in a different uh, video for you. So loop diuretics here, they end in ID, IDE, and very commonly used medication is furosemide, which is also called Lasix, or Bumex, which is Bumetanide. So um, ID is an ending for loop diuretics, and the way that they work, they inhibit sodium as well as chloride reabsorption from the distal loop of Henle of the kidney, hence loop diuretics, but then they cause excretion of water as well as sodium and chloride, as we learned over here, but also potassium, magnesium, and calcium. So this is very important to note here about the anatomy and what the loop of Henle usually does in terms of reabsorption and excretion regulation. And these loop diuretics can cause imbalances of all these different electrolytes, which is what we're going to discuss in a moment. And loop diuretics are many times used for the treatment of hypertension, but also used to treat edema related to heart failure, renal failure, and cirrhosis, all those conditions that can cause fluid volume overload or fluid volume excess. Now, side effects, electrolyte imbalances, because we are excreting all these electrolytes we just discussed, it can um, cause hypo um, of all these conditions of all these electrolytes and specifically we're always worried about hypokalemia. Now certainly if we excrete a lot of fluid from the patient's body, it can lead to dehydration as well as low blood pressure. And loop diuretics can also cause dizziness, drowsiness, and then two specific skin conditions called Steven Johnson syndrome and erythema multiform. So I encourage you to um, Google search these conditions so that you can become familiar what they look like, what does these rashes look like, so then you can detect them in your patients if they're on loop diuretics, maybe newly um, getting these medications. But another side effect is metabolic alkalosis because we're excreting all these electrolytes as well as water. And then remember that the kidney regulates hydrogen ion as well as bicarbonate. And so it can lead to metabolic alkalosis. Um, as for nursing considerations, as with anything that affects blood pressure, we want to check blood pressure and heart rate before we administer the medication. Keep a close eye on the patient's intake and output as well as their weight because we're dealing with edema and fluid volume excess. So we need to see how successfully we're able to eliminate all the extra fluid the patient has. Certainly keep an eye on their edema in their lower extremities as well as check their lung sounds for possible signs of fluid volume excess and that would be crackles in the lungs. Certainly we want to check their liver as well as their kidney function because we are working with the loop of Henley here. So we want to make sure that the kidneys are working properly so that these medications have um, room to take effect. And then electrolytes because of all the reasons and all these electrolytes that we are excreting now at higher rates when the patient is taking these kind of medications. And specifically, as always, we worry about potassium levels. And then, especially if the patient is newly um, on this medication, we want to check their skin for these two side effects we already discussed. Um, additionally, most, medication, uh, most patients who are on loop diuretic will require a potassium replacement because it just gets depleted so quickly. So it's not uncommon to see a patient on, let's say, Lasix 40 milligrams um, Q day, and then also to be on potassium chloride 20 MEQs or whatever the provider determines to be the appropriate dosage for the patient. And certainly they will go, uh, need to go and get their labs checked in at frequent intervals to keep an eye on all their electrolytes as well as the kidney function. Um, and another tidbit here is if the patient is also on digoxin, 
then there is an increased risk for digoxin toxicity because digoxin is very sensitive to potassium levels and high or low levels of potassium can make the patient ditch toxic and this is very important to note so you always want to check their digoxin levels as well as their potassium levels if they're on a loop diuretic and this is something that many times comes up in nursing exams. And contraindications for loop diuretics would be anuria. So if the patient is not producing any urine at all, then the loop of Henle can't really, is not really working and can't really excrete all these different um, electrolytes as well as water. So there's nothing to work on. So it's contraindicated because it's not even going to work. And then also it's contraindicated in severe liver disease because of the risk for metabolic alkalosis and the associated complications that can occur. So please also watch my other videos on thiazide diuretics as well as potassium uh, sparing diuretics in the pharmacology playlist. And I see you right here on Nursing School Explained next time. Thanks so much for watching.